I would like to start with the panel now and let Lord Sudley tell you why the bankruptcy of his family is still significant today. I'll have to give you the mic. That's the only one that works from here. Um, well, there, there, there are two problems arising out, out of my uh, great-grandfather's bankruptcy, the fourth Lord Sudley. He had a debt owing to the agricultural uh, depression, uh, but whatever their debt, it was covered twice over by very large assets. And then Lloyds Bank came along and um, filed for bankruptcy, and the effect of that was to force uh, the immediate payment of the debt on the nail. The first problem is where you get involved in a tight liquidity situation of the kind in which my great-grandfather was placed, where they should have enough time to realize assets. And my great-grandfather was not given enough time, um, but that has been put right now under the provisions of the new Enterprise Act, owing to an interesting case which came to our attention of a, a, a company called Heritage Distributive Household Wares, which was placed into the same kind of difficulty as, uh, as uh, my family was. Uh, only two banking hours were allowed to realize assets. Now, under the provisions of the new Enterprise Act, uh, a receiver in these, this kind of situation is appointed uh, not only by the bank but all the creditors and it's only if that does not work out within the space of about a year um, that uh, you get the appointment of an administrative receiver. Well that thankfully has been dealt with but the other problem arising out of our bankruptcy has not been dealt with and I think they're going to be droves of similar cases with the present recession and that is my exceptional discovery at the public record office that our creditors double their claims because they were not independently and adequately audited. I got together, before I was thrown out as a hereditary peer from the House of Lords, I got together a bill to address this question. Um, and there I was, I was thrown out. Since then I've not succeeded in finding another parliamentarian to take the bill over, but my main purpose in coming to this meeting is to urge that a parliamentarian should come forward to do the job. Otherwise, all we can rely on is to have a, an intuitive judge like Lord Denning who will clean the whole matter up. Thank you very much.